Everton Football Club sat in the relegation zone after humiliation against their biggest rivals at Anfield in early December. After an entire day of deliberation, the club dismissed then-manager Marco Silva and were expected to bring back David Moyes, at least on an interim basis. Then, Everton's luck turned. Napoli fired Carlo Ancelotti four days after Silva left Finch Farm for the final time. A world-renowned manager became available and the Blues made their move. In just nine games, Ancelotti has only tasted defeat twice. Once away to Manchester City and a crushing loss to a young Liverpool team in the FA Cup. That defeat could have left the Blues in crisis, however it now feels like a distant memory as the Italian has bagged 11 points since then to bring the Blues up to 7th in the league. I think he's improved the atmosphere, he's got them, he's, you know, he's obviously, he's a, he's a good man manager, he, he's got a, a, a good atmosphere around the club, he's so experienced uh, with all the teams he's, um, he's even previously at, then I think he's the perfect manager for the job. A top seven finish is now a realistic target for Everton, which would have sounded crazy before the turn of the year. There's a lot of competition to qualify for continental football in the Premier League, but the fact that there's even a possibility of European nights here at Goodison Park next season is a testament to the job that Carlo Ancelotti has done so far. With a full summer and pre-season under his belt next season, who knows where he'll have this Everton team then.